Pokemon. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already heard about the new Pokemon Go game that has been going around like everywhere. I've literally seen so many people like around my neighborhood that have been playing it or even like at a park. There's so many people that have the game. Like if, the, if somebody has their phone out and is just looking at their phone and walking, most of the time, like 95% of the time, they're probably playing Pokemon Go. It's so awesome seeing how this game can bring so many people together and actually get people to go outside. That game is just super addicting, like once you find a Pokemon and if you see that there's one nearby you or anywhere close to where you are, like it, it's just so addicting that you want to go catch that Pokemon, like you'll walk as far as you have to, like people will walk like so far just to find one freaking Pokemon. I downloaded the game like two or three days ago, but for some reason like my GPS wasn't connecting to like the servers or something like that and it didn't let me find any Pokemon. So for the first two days like I had the app but I just was not using it. And it wasn't until yesterday where I actually figured out what was wrong with my GPS and then I finally got it working and I could finally get onto the game and find some freaking Pokemon. Right now I'm like level 4, I'm like so close to being level 5. Maybe catching like one or two more Pokemon will get me to that level 5. It's DJ Khaled. But yesterday I went to this park in Tempe. It's called Tempe Town Lake. And we left there like at around 6 or 7 o'clock when the sun was still up. And me and my brother and my friend Francisco, you guys probably know him if you guys watch my vlogs, we were just out looking for Pokemon. And like just by like the amount of people that we saw also like looking on their phone and walking around, there was so many people that were walking around looking for Pokemon. And probably like at around 8 or 9 when the sun started going down, so many more people came in. Like there was more, probably like a little more than 100 people that were in that park walking around looking for Pokemon. And I literally missed out on every Pokemon that was there because my phone was like at 20% when we got there. So I only got a Geodude while we were there. But there was other people that got so many crazy Pokemon like an Arcanine. While we were at Tempe Town Lake, we saw one guy. I don't even know what level he could have been at. But he was literally finding some crazy strong Pokemon. Like he found an Arcanine that was like level 800 and something. He found a Pikachu that was level 700 and something. I don't know. I just thought it was really crazy how he was finding such strong of Pokemon. Like he was really funny though when like every time he got a really strong Pokemon he would like scream out when he found his Pikachu he was like yeah I found a level 776 Pikachu yeah, everybody just looked at him and started smiling and laughing like it was just so funny and he said that he also talked to like 50 people that he did not even know about the game and like where they found their Pokemon I don't know if this is true or not but while we were like walking around trying to look for Pokemon ourselves we came up to this one guy and he, when we were talking to him just for a little bit asking like the Pokemon that he had and like where we found the Pokemon that we have that he didn't have. He was saying that Nintendo was going to give out $100,000 to the first person who can find all 150 Pokemon. Like could you imagine that? $100,000 for the first person who finds all 150 Pokemon. Like where are they going to find a Mewtwo dude? Or just every legendary Pokemon in general. Like where the hell is someone going to find a freaking Zapdos or an Articuno or Moltres? Like they're going to have to go far for those Pokemon. Oh shit. Oh! What was that, dude? I, I should just get out of this lobby, dude. That's embarrassing. Oh my god. See, I can't insta swap right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. God damn, dude. What the hell was that? Hey, I got the reloaded. No. I literally cannot wait until they open up player versus player on that game. Like, there's gonna be friendships made, friendships broken. My Pokemon probably aren't even close to the level that some people are. Like, I think my strongest Pokemon right now is like level 81. Dude, I have to hit a shot this game. I literally have not hit a shot in so long. Come on, dude. Please give me some Tomahawk luck. Please. Please hit. Oh my god. Yesterday was like 11 o'clock at night and I went to Walmart to go get some more clothes hangers and on my way back like I was just like driving around my neighborhood just seeing like the Pokemon that I could find and I literally like passed by like four cars that like would stop at the same exact stop that I would be at to get a Pokemon. Like I knew for a fact that those people that were stopping were looking for Pokemon because there's no reason that they would drive for a little bit, stop, like wait a little bit and then go and then stop for a little bit so I don't know like it was just really funny just seeing like all the cars stop. But well, that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I actually hit a little Tomahawk trick shot not too long ago. I kind of messed up on it a little bit because I threw my shock charts because I literally could not insta-swap today. Like, I don't know what it was about me, but every time I went for it, I kept messing up on it. But anyways, check out this little Tomahawk trick shot.
But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.